In this video, I am going to be teaching you how to use Piclumen in order to generate amazing AI images from scratch. Piclumen is one of the most powerful AI image generation platforms available on the internet today and it provides you with some of the best features available online that too for absolutely free. This video is going to be a full beginner oriented tutorial on how to use Piclumen. We are going to be learning how to create your very first free account on Piclumen. Then we are going to get ourselves acquainted with the image generation panel so that we can create unique AI images from scratch. Afterwards, we're also going to be taking a look at some of the advanced features that will help us enhance the images that we have already created. The purpose of this video is to help absolute beginners get started using AI image tools. Hence, all the fundamentals required in order to understand these tools are explained here in detail. Now, before starting this tutorial, kindly like, subscribe and turn on your bell notifications to never miss out any future content from this channel. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so in order to get started, you just have to head over into the Piclumen website. Then you have to go to generate for free. Then you just have to sign up using Google. Once you have done that, you will be taken into this page right here. So from here, you have to go to create. And then you will be taken into your very own image generation platform from where you can start putting in your prompts and generating your free AI images. The very first thing you will be able to notice here is the model selection column. Models, for those of you who don't know, are basically data on which these AI models are trained on. Hence, each model produces a unique kind of image when a prompt is passed into it. For example, here are four images that are generated when the same prompt is passed on to different models. You'll be able to see a stark contrast in each image attuning to the model used in order to generate it. Different models can be used to generate different kinds of images. So using the best model for you is dependent on your own business needs. So I suggest playing around with the models a little bit in order to find the best fit for you. Next section you'll be able to see is the size. Here you can adjust the size of the images being generated. There are about 14 different sizes and aspect ratios that you can generate images in. After this, you have the batch size, where you can specify the amount of images that should be generated per successful run. The maximum number of images you can currently generate in one go is about four. All right, so now we have come to the prompt window. This is by far one of the most important sections within any AI tool. This window is where you're going to be passing the prompt to your AI image. Anything that you specify here will be generated as an image by Piclumen. Combining the right models with perfectly descriptive prompts, you can create the ideal AI image for any purpose. Here you'll be able to see two buttons to the right hand side of this prompt window. Both of these buttons are provided in order to enhance the prompts passed in by you. The first feature is the translate feature that helps you translate prompts from different languages into English. The next section is called prompt enhancement and it automatically enhances any prompt passed into it in order to generate better images. Here's a difference between a chat GPT prompt and the enhanced version of it generated by Piclumen. Okay, so now that I've introduced you to the different parts of the AI generation tool, let me show you how to create your first ever batch of AI images. For that, I'm just going to be copying one of the prompts that I took out of chat GPT and I am going to come back and I'm going to pass that into the prompt window. From here, I want the AI model to be the same one that is default. You can actually choose any one of these that you like, but I'm going to keep it as default. Then I'm going to keep the aspect ratio to be one is to one. And I'm going to keep the batch size as one because I only want one image to be generated for the time being. Okay, so now that I've added this, let me go ahead and show you the auto enhancement feature as well. So once I click on auto enhancement, you'll be able to see that this particular prompt has been automatically enhanced. Now, let me go ahead and click on the generate button. And as you'll be able to see, this is the AI image that Piclumen has come up with. It looks absolutely beautiful. Now, generating ideal AI images has a lot more to it than simply adding a prompt and clicking generate. To generate good images, you also need to understand how to add negative keywords to your images. Negative keywords help Piclumen understand what all things you don't want to show within your images. Not adding appropriate negative keywords can sometimes result in unsatisfactory generations. To add negative keywords, you just need to go into the right hand side and you need to click on this particular icon where you will be able to see the negative prompt window. Adding any negative prompts inside this window would result in those prompts not being shown within subsequent generations of images. Now, let's see an example of this. Here we have an image that we generated using Piclumen. Let's say that I want to avoid showing the earrings of this woman in subsequent generations of images. So I just need to go into the negative prompt section. I need to add a comma and then I need to type in earrings. Then I will simply click on the generate button. And let's wait for the generation to be completed. Okay, so now the generation has been completed and you will be able to see that this is what the image looks like. It looks absolutely beautiful. And like the negative prompt that we have added, it has no earrings inside of it. 
Now let's say that you're not satisfied with this image. You can go ahead and adjust the guidance scale to a higher number. Guidance scale is the measure of how closely the images are generated to the prompt passed in. The higher the guidance scale, the more closely it's going to follow the prompt. The step size on the other hand helps increase the detailing of the generated image. The higher the step size, the more detailed your images will be. Here's the difference between images that are generated using the default step size as compared to the images that have a little bit higher step size. Now, since we've covered negative keywords, guidance scale and step size, we now know all the fundamentals to generating high quality images. But if you want to make modifications to the images that you've already created, this is where Piclumen really shines as it provides us some very powerful features in order to modify your images once they've been generated. Say that in the earlier image, you wish to remove the background behind this women's face. You can scroll down into this section and you can click on Remove BG. Once you do that, all the background from the image will be completely removed and this is what the picture looks like. Now let's say that you want to change this image in such a way that it contains a tinge of red in it. You can again scroll down and click on the Colorize button. Here you will be taken into this particular prompt window. Inside of the prompt window, you can pass in red and then click on submit. And as you can see, the newly created image has an undertone of the red color in it. Okay, now let's say that you wish to modify a certain section of the image instead of the entire image. We can do so using the in paint feature. Again, scroll down and click on in paint. You'll be taken into this particular section where you'll be shown a paintbrush and a prompt window. Now let's say that you want to modify this image in such a way that the hair on this girl is actually pink instead of black. So what you can do is that you can select all this hair using the paintbrush. And inside of the prompt window, you can type in pink hair. Let's click on submit. And this is what the resultant image looks like. The very last feature that I wish to show you is the upscale feature. This feature allows you to increase the resolution of the generated images. To upscale your image, again scroll down and go into upscale. From there, you have the option to either 1.5x your image or 2x your image. I'm going to choose 2x for the time being. Now let's look at the resultant generation. So this is what the image looks like. Let's click on it. And here inside of the resolution, you'll be able to see that this is twice the resolution of the earlier image. So we have successfully upscaled our image and increased the image quality. This was a quick tutorial on how to use Piclumen in order to generate amazing AI images. I hope you like this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching until the very end and have a wonderful day.